Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, today is going to be my first and most likely my last because I don't really know much about them, but I like this song by Jethro Tull, Aqualung. Sitting on a park bench, you know that song? -na 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 -na. That song. Yep, Aqualung by Jethro Tull. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool melody. Stick around. Okay, so uh, Aqualung by Jethro Tull. I'm going to be basically just showing the main riff melody of it. Uh, no solo, of course, because you know me. I don't know how to play solos. Um, so, the beginning goes... <laughs> So uh, that's that first part that it starts the song. Um, I think you do it three times in a row, and then it goes into the next part, or four times in a row, wh whatever. But it's start two times in a row, I know, without anything else. So th th this is the riff that starts it off. Okay, so why am I ranting? I, I don't know. There's no point. I can just just go, go just go ahead. Just go ahead and teach. It starts off. You're in the key of um, G minor, so you're in the G minor full G minor scale. It, it has notes from the full G minor, but the, the you know, um, first position pentatonic, pretty much you can stay into the... Okay, so it's... It actually shows... It kind of throws in the blues note, too. Uh, it starts off a fifth on the A, three six on the low E, Three four three on the A. So that's that first, the probably the most known uh, riff in the whole song. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Not uh, too difficult. Five three six three four three five on the A. Three six low E. Three four three. On the A. Then you jump into those are the power chords um, or full full major chords, I guess you can say. But um, yeah, so that's a um, C sharp three times straight, which is a four six 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 starting on the. Uh, a string four six six six. Then you go up a whole step to uh, what's that? A D sharp or an E flat, whatever you want to call it. Six eight eight eight. So this is the other one. Kind of has a like a little stop. So it's not like it's. Also three times, but that's the the C sharp is. You want to give that little, eh, 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 but it's those both of them are three times. Then you jump up to a an F chord, right? Is that an F? Yeah. Okay. You want to do eight, ten, 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 starting from the A respectively, respectfully, respectively. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, a, 8, 10, 10, 10, which is an F chord. That's going to be also kind of... All three. It's all... all the, th the three chords you do three times, but it's each of them have a little different type. So that's how it goes. So basically the C sharp and the F is kind of like the same rhythm. That... Uh, E flat or D sharp is kind of you kind of you kind of hit that stall after the first one. Then you go. And what that is is on the A you go six eight six eight nine. Then you jump to the nine on the low E. 
So again from the top, it's... So yeah, on a tab, I see this as slightly different on the very last note, but this is how it goes. Sorry for that, that D, that open D always has that clanging sound, I don't know what it is. Okay, so what it is, is um, one, the first fret on the uh, D string, four times, one, two, three, four, then you go right into the fourth fret of the A string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Into the four of the A. You could probably do it with your pinky, or you can do a, a big stretch with your ring. Uh, I, I do it with my pinky. It's, it's, for me, it's easy to do pinky, but it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four times on the, one, on the um, first fret of the D to the fourth fret of the A, and then you're going to do also the fourth fret of the D. So... One 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 four four and then then four again on the D so so one 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 four A four D then four D again to two on the D. Then you jump from that two to the two on the A. So now here's where it differs from what I think it sounds like to what I saw. I see it ending with that in the tab I saw, which would be like kind of an A power chord, open A and a second fret uh, D. But for some reason, I don't hear that. I hear open D, or of course you can do fifth fret. For, for me, I should do fifth fret on the A because my D sounds horrible clanging. But the the reason why I think I, it is that, because number one, I hear it, and number two, it leads back into so if it ends with that it basically can lead right into it you can actually do the you can instead of hitting the open D you can do the fifth on the um, A anyways okay again so or or uh, open D or fifth on the D that's how I you know it could, you could do. That doesn't right, sound right at all. And again, I said open D or fifth on the uh, A because it leads into so and and bottom line is uh in, in the the key of g minor of course you don't have, you don't have to stick to it 100 percent. i know there's tons of songs that can use a note that's not in the scale for a riff but the actual um, that note's not in the scale so i think it's a d i don't think it's an e but uh yeah so that was aqua lung jethro toe Okay, so that'll do it for another, eh, I, I think I did decent this time. I usually say for another bad lesson, but I think I kind of did decent, I guess, this time. Um, Jethro Tull, Aqualung, sitting on a park bench. I, I shouldn't sing. I really shouldn't sing. If you did like it, please 
hit that like button and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. See you later. Kadoosh.